Hi everyone, Stevie High here from uh, Pilot Train Studios. I saw you a quick video update here on the progress on the Soviet government building. Uh, I can tell you what I haven't finished yet is painting, uh, doing battle damage, and three staircases. Other than that, everything's pretty much done. Got the windows and doors cut out, most of all the staircases. Uh, started doing a little bit of battle damage on some of this, the front stairs going into the building. Uh, I started painting them, and then I was like, whoops, forgot damage, so add some damage, and I'm going to have to repaint them. Other than that, you know, uh, let me tell, show you the, the sheer scale of this. I mean, you, you assemble it all together, and it's roughly close to four feet long. Uh, the depth from front to back is, it's like, counting the front steps, probably about, you know, somewhere in the lines of 15 to 12 inches, somewhere around there. I don't know, Bel buildings are 12, so the stairs are like another three, I'm thinking. Something like that, so. Yeah, so it's like 15 inches by, so let's just say a foot and a half by four foot, when it's all assembled. But pre-assembled, I have it all spread out on my three foot by five foot dining table. So uh, let me give you a quick view of that. The sheer scale of this terrain <laughs> that's involved. You got the the two streets unpainted, undamaged. You got the staircases. You can see that one right there. I started doing some battle damage on. Get a little closer in there. You see, there's some cracks in there. I got to paint everything up. Uh, these are the two the two bridge sections. And these are all the different floors. Once this, you know, you stack them all up. So basically, yeah, this takes up pretty much my whole damn dining table, and then some. You can see it's hanging up the edge here. So it's a lot, a lot of terrain, quite a bit of terrain. So, oh, on another note, every floor is magnetized on these buildings. Like, let me give you a, a quick view here. This. Go. And uh, you just go like this, and it snaps right on there. See that? Yeah, try it again. Boom! No lining up. It's all set. Same with the top, like this. Uh, boom! It's not falling off. Now I'm going to show you uh, one-handed here. I'm going to try to assemble this stuff. <laughs> See how well that goes. Okay, we'll start with the, this floor here. I believe that this goes here. Check that out. One building assembled. Oh, mechanized. Yeah. Let's on to the next one. Which one's the bottom floor here? Okay, I believe it's this one. And then this one. Oop, the staircases are falling down now. Okay, and then the roof section. Boom. And we'll man maneuver them around like so, so we can put them together like they're supposed to be. So we'll get this stuff out of the way here. Grab on these road sections. Sorry about the moving the camera. All over the damn place. We'll slide that down like so. We'll move this into place here. We'll grab one of these bridge sections. And I'm gonna st stick her in there like so. Uh, oops, this might be a little difficult with this roof piece on. Doing it one handed. So, unless you guys get some skills, man, with your doing it one handed. I know uh, Nick Whitney is pretty good at doing shit one handed, does it all the time in his videos. There we go. Put that in there. Oh, this one's not. This one slid away a little bit. There we go. Get 
Goodness gracious. One handed is 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 a skill in and itself here. There we go. Alright. So yeah, I don't know. I can't square it all perfect with one hand, I guess. Anyway, there you go, you got the two buildings side by side. Look at all them windows come from the rear of the building. I mean there's just so many exterior exterior windows for people shooting all over the damn place. Um, I believe that oops nothing's gonna be in place yet, everything is just taped. Okay. go but once again I'm gonna leave that off there right just a second grab these pieces over here okay throw the road section down slider in One-handedness thing is not something I have mastered as of yet. There we go. Once again, boom. Now we'll check her out. We'll move those. Uh, we'll move some of these into place. Whoa! Still got quite a bit of work here, people. But I hope. You guys like what you see here. Uh, there you go. The massiveness scale of this building here. It's almost, this might be an inch or two shy of four feet long. Uh, just to give you guys an idea. All the windows, people shooting out of you. Still got a couple extra things I want to do to this thing. And so it will be more versatile. Um... I'm also going to be making twin towers, so you'll have like two, two of these sections. So I imagine each end connected by a bridge section, maybe an extra floor in there, four stories each. I'm going to call it my uh, my twin towers package. Uh, you'll be able to order that, customly build something like that. A few different color paint schemes if you wanted to. I'm a website. Uh, I'll have that up shortly, probably after I finish this, so I can take some pictures so you can get a visual of what you're what you're gonna get or what anybody's gonna get if they want to do something like that so let's look at the back sides here all that roof playability there and if you want I guess you can hop over this and stand here but you ain't gonna have no cover of course to, like I said dude all these roof pieces underneath all this tape that's gonna be fixed I just got that on it right now so Boom. So, another, uh, just give you one quick pan around. Check it out. Of course, uh, the rooms, there's no rhyme or reason for the size or how they were built inside there. I just kind of did them as I went. And if you're wondering why these slits are here, um, I'm going to make a couple extra pieces. Let me see if I can give you a quick uh, look-see here. Whoops, sorry about showing you all my refrigerator with all the kids stuff on it. Uh, okay, I'm going to take out this bridge section. What you see here. Okay, you see all these big open gaps where the bridge was connected here. Uh, if you recall, I said I was going to make some extra walls that you're going to be able to just slide in here. So, boom, you don't have to worry about that being open. If you didn't want this connected, there's put one here too. You can run them as solo walls. So, what I had come up with here is if, if you, let's say you just you want a taller building, you want to get rid of one of these buildings altogether, you'll be able to go like that. And, uh, there, now you got 
a massive five-story building. You know, I mean, yeah, there's some cubby holes in there, but it's cool. They got windows and stuff. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Uh, that's what those slots right there are for. And what I'm going to do is there's going to be a... I'm going to have a little extra piece that you can lay on here for a little roof here. It's going to have a little thing to plug this in here if you want. Uh, vice versa for the other side. You know, you can do that. Use the other building. And then you got this one, you know, right here. Uh, yes, you're going to have to use this. Of course, that roof piece for that. So it leaves this one without a roof. So I guess in essence, you would... If you wanted to be able to do something like that and wanted to make that a playable one-story building, you would have to, I guess, order an extra roof. Uh, I don't know what I charged on the website. I think a roof was like maybe maybe five bucks if you want me to make another roof. So that's very inexpensive. Five, I don't know, some term, somewhere between five, ten bucks. I think it was five, not positive. Uh, same way with uh, the bases here. Uh, like if you want another base that doesn't have a floor glued to it, it just has the base, the cutouts or whatever the let's say the sidewalks here cut carved in here. That way, if you want to take off some stories, you'll be able to just set it on a base because you purchase an extra base. Grab some an extra roof piece if you ordered one, and then you you can have like let's say a, a two story next to a one story, two complete buildings all by purchasing an extra roof or an extra base uh, so basically you'd have another building for 10 bucks instead of buying a whole another building for 30 bucks 40 bucks or something and uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick update and uh, I will talk to you all later thank you for watching this